this match of the AVA playoff. They, these teams are battling for a prize of either 500 or 1,000 dollars. Right here I am with Bobcat, your video caster, and Eric Wants, your uh, other co-caster along with me. Right now we have Everstrive, the team that took the cannon match, 7-4 I believe. On the attacking side, one of them does get taken out by Anon, who is plays for Hawson, which are on the defensive side. Right now we're on the map Black side. The defensive team is running a dual scope. They're playing a 2-1-2 defense. A Skelly, well, almost, say, you, know, you can pretty much say a 2-1-2 defense. And it looks like they're going to try to push balcony area, speaking of. Ben will push, the, push that with Chun-Li the rest of his team. They do have control of balcony. What does that mean that they have control of balcony? They kind of control the game. They have to rotate to them. They, have, they could pick from anywhere, but unfortunately, I don't know why Muddy is running solo along with Ben. They have the bomb down on Balcony. They need to work together to get that bomb, but no, it's going to be a 3v1 situation. Speedy is in a bit of a tight situation. He sh I would run back through green room, go through the freezers, and run up to the Balcony area. I don't know if he believes someone is on Balc, as he is looking. I, I would personally believe someone's on Balc. But... Uh, Bobcat, if you'll pull up the mini-map, you'll see how everyone else is rotating on the other team. You have Anon inside of Freezer. I don't know if Ben knows that, so... Why don't... Why don't we, uh... Why don't we go lock into Anon, as he is probably about to receive some action, as Ben is running up to the middle area. But no, he's looking through the Freezer. Nope, he heard him. Now he's turning. Hey, go. Anon, there you go. Taking him out, just like he should have. Making it 1-0, Team Hawson. Yeah, I got three kills there from Ann on that round. Big play by him as, uh, again, they lost that first map here. So let's take a look early on, see what kind of split they're going to have. Uh, looks like the offense will be headed to the two side. We're going to have Skelly and Inno here uh, playing defense there, Inc. playing that mid-balcony uh, spot you mentioned there. As uh, we'll take a look here at uh, C4. C4 is going to be, uh, that'll be Don't Rage. He has been the bomb man thus far for them on both maps. As uh, he'll be pushing, it looks like, uh, Point Man here into the uh, two side here. He's going to peek the corner, uh, firing at somebody there behind the console. Not going to be able to get at them very well there as a CL3 is going to take out, uh, you know, their Skelly right back into Windstruck. What a great shot with that scope. As uh, we'll have CL3 bomb is down here. Don't Rage has planted. And uh, we'll take a look here. It's going to be a all-out firefight here in the two sides as they have to retake this bomb site. Hassan having to come back in. Kerr and Ink. Uh, looks like Ink will get the kill on CL3 there. Chun Li back into Ink. So this is going to turn into a 1v1 here, ladies and gentlemen. Kerr versus Chun Li. As uh, Chun Li is going to be playing on the bomb site right now behind uh, the stack right there. And he will uh, get the nice kill there on Kerr with that M4. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move to a 1 to 1 right now here. Or, I'm sorry, 1 to 2. My mistake, guys. Uh, and uh, That's a one. Or, oh, one to one. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it's all good. Um, just so right now, not the scoreboard. I mean, do you see Chun Li picking up, which was very uh, crucial. He did get a couple of few last time, which was very useful. As like, anyway, speaking of the everyone, hold on. Sorry, I had a little bit of trouble with uh, mumble. Blech. Anyway, four v two. I completely missed out on a lot of that. Apologies. You have money with the bomb inside of a warehouse. Windstruck with that scope playing the freezer area. But he's going to try to push up to Balk. I don't know if he knows Ink is on the Balk. But he's not. Ink isn't inside. But Muddy gets taken on a solo push by Kerr. He's just going to outgun him. Ink is one shot. Windstruck hears him reloading. He's going to go for the pistol. Very small. 1D. Very, very situational. 2 of 1D. And Windstruck is going to probably go to the mid. I don't know if he knows that Skelly is by the one stairs, who is scoping into that area. He's looking... Let's lock into Skelly. Oh, never mind. Let's lock into Windstruck, which was a sexy shot from the mid street. Very well done. Now, he knows the bomb is down. And Inno and Kerr are going to have to... Somewhat smart, as Inno is going to walk up to the balcony area. Let's walk into Windstruck. Eliminated. Never mind. <laughs> That's twice I did that. <laughs> yeah, happens to the best of us, and we'll take a look here on this next round of play. We are into round four here on map two of the uh, bronze match here, and uh, we'll take a look here at, uh, well, let's find Bomb again, as Bomb is going to be headed to the one site pretty quickly here through Warehouse. Uh, I'm going to be watching Muddy here as he's going to open the door, uh, run upstairs here. Looks like they're all going to be moving here in at once here to this one site. They're coming through like a storm here. They've taken the Bomb site. Uh, relatively without any uh, resistance there. So pair of nades are going to go off here against Hawson as uh, Chun-Li will finally be uh, be answered back there. Windstruck with a pair of kills with that TPG as Anno and Inno go down. 
and are going to have a, a pistol kill there from CL3. A couple pistol kills this map. I haven't seen very much of that. As uh, Skelly is going to be the last one standing here, going to have to take that bomb site back. As uh, he's going to be moving with that TPG towards the one stairs here. Uh, nice pink grenade going to float past him there. Not going to do any damage here. He's going to push up, uh, fighting the clock and two players here as he's pushed up onto the ledge. Going to come around. Uh, Muddy is going to be on the stairs, firing back up at him. And Don't Rage will be below uh, below the stairs towards the warehouse side here. As uh, Muddy will get the kill there on uh, Skelly. So this is going to move to a 2-2 two to two now. And uh, only uh, two rounds here left before halftime. But uh, I tell you what, the pretty evenly matched teams. Yeah, they are running uh, together pretty parallel. It's funny that uh, they both did, well, can't really say better. I'm pretty sure, uh, well, Evershop did better on, obviously, on Holston's map. I'm very curious to see how Holston plays on their map. As Curry's going to pick up a double to Rage and Muddy. They were trying to push that one bomb site. Curry's going to get a third kill. As Winstruck does take out Skelly, ending that attempt. Oh, never mind. For, let's say for our teammates, never mind. But Ink still could, uh, I mean, uh, Kerr still could pull out an ace for himself if he does do that. So let's lock into Kerr, even though he's probably not going to see much of the action. There goes that ace as Inno gets a nice scope shot into Winch. CL3, or Ben, is the last one coming up. He will take him out with a 1 AK on the back stair. All right, we're into the uh, last round here before halftime, before we switch some sides here. And uh, we'll see if we're going to see any fast action, slow pushes, anything like that. Looks like Bomb is going to be headed to the two site right now. As uh, actually they're going to split up, they're going to slow things down a little bit here, play the smart. Uh, CL3 is out in front for his team. Let's take a look at him as he might see the action first here. As uh, if I could cycle through and find him as they've actually all pushed back now, throwing some set nades here uh, towards balcony it looks like. As they're going to push through uh, towards this two side over the bridge uh, which has been blown out. There's some smoke going out. And uh, they have committed to this two site right now. And looks like the defense is actually set up pretty weak there. As uh, Inno is going to move into the bomb site. Skelly's going to rotate. Skelly is a, a tremendous scope. He's playing very well today. As uh, looks like Inno is going to get a. They're playing double scope right now, actually. As uh, Chun Li is going to fall. Don't rage CL3. And uh, Kerr going to exchange some kills there. But bomb has been planted. Windstruck CL3 uh, going up against Kerr and, and, and Skelly right now. So let's find Skelly. As uh, he's going to be playing on that bomb site, Annan is uh, going to be playing there as well. CL3 puts down Skelly and Annan. One, two, count them. As it'll be all up to, uh, looks like Kerr in a 1v1 right now. So Kerr uh, coming into the bomb site right now, making some noise. He's going to peek it around that corner. He's got him lit up pretty good here as uh, he is winning the HP battle right now and does get the kill. It's going to be an easy defuse for him. And uh, what a way to end the half there is uh, this one's going to go to 4 to 2, I believe, as long as they get this defuse, which they will. So 4 to 2 here at halftime. Yeah, I was very surprised. CL3 could have played that better. I believe, he, and while he didn't know where Kerr was, I mean, he had to take the risk and reload because none of his team lit him up. That should have been called and a pistol versus a rifle when he's full HP. It's just not going to work out, even with the element of surprise. So I believe he could have played that a little bit better, but nonetheless, tried to take out those two people in that 3v1 situation, and that is not easy to do sometimes. Right now, we have Windshock and Don't Rage inside of the green room, and they are going to push up which is a newer defensive strat I've seen in the game, which does work out very well, having two people push up inside that green room. Because as scope shots are going to be exchanged, it looks like Windshock is going to permanently back off. I know he's peeking it again. He does get, Skelly does get, well, Windstruck is doing very nice with the scope today. Single scope and four. Uh, Everstruck, I don't know why Don't Rage did, um, uh, uh, peek that. That was very stupid on there. But, oh, and he gets him with the pink heart in it. It, it runs out for the pistol. Why don't we go lock on the CL3 right now? He is about to receive some action. He will take out Inno. Nice gun by CL3. Now, Ink and Muddy are about to trade some shots. Let's lock into Muddy right now. He is outside while, um, you know, Ink actually ran away with the bomb. Very curious to see what this Halston team could do in this 4v2 situation as Ben takes out Anon with a headshot from that M4. Very curious to see what they're going to do. They're going to move it slow. They're going to probably end up working towards the two site as they know most of the team is at the one site. Failure smoke thrown by, um, Windstruck into the mid. Um, I believe it was not supposed to go there. Meanwhile, they are just sitting on the ramp, waiting for some action. I guess we might as well lock into the bomb carrier, who is Ink. Let's wait for some action to happen, as Ben is near. Both of these players, Windstruck is rotating to behind green, as Ben will take out Kerr. He's probably going to back off, but no, it looks like he's going to come back up. Picks up his AK for whatever reason. Okay. 
good bait by Windshark to completely draw him out, and then Ben would finish that kill. Very well, he played by Evershot. Good chem work and teamwork showed right there in that play. All right, we're seven rounds in, and it's four to three right now. One round deficit here. We'll do a little bit of an Ebrev scoreboard rundown for you guys uh, on the Everstride side. We're gonna have CL3 at 11 and six, a nine and six from Windstruck, uh, a five, a three, and a two coming from Chun Li, Don't Rage, and Muddy. And on the other side of the spectrum here for Haas, and we're gonna have Kerr at a nine and three and sixes for the rest of the team. So uh, pretty even scoring. You like to see that. Nobody carrying anybody here, and uh, we'll see if that continues to be the case there. If we get a lucky grenade, I'm not sure how that happens, but lucky shot on the grenade there from Don't Rage to Hannon. And uh, that's going to push this to a 5v4. Uh, let's find Bomb for you guys. Bomb is going to be Ink here, and Ink is going to be playing inside the warehouse area right now as uh, he's just going to be hanging out there throwing some set nades, trying not to uh, get set nated himself there. As actually, I think he might have hit himself with his own nade. Uh, not quite sure there. His money is going to be flanking warehouse right now, and Chun-Li and uh, CL3 are going to be moving in on this warehouse area right now. So they have them quite literally surrounded here. They're going to open the door and, and peek the corner here. There'll be a fire fight here quick one as uh nobody actually going down here a lot of hp being exchanged and ink is just holding on by a hair right now for his hp i mean he has nothing left as he is going to fall there to chun li and or i'm sorry cl3 is going to get the kill there chun li takes the kill on kerr there so team ace there uh coming from team ever yeah just a little clarification um lucky shot just for you eric and anyone else watching is not familiar with the game Having a lucky shot is pretty much a percentage of either a grenade, sniper shot, right, right, rifle shot. Doesn't matter how given. Only does pull a lucky shot with that grenade. I don't know if Bobcat was caught on. Pretty much, it's like a five percent depending on the gear you use. It's like a four or five percent chance. And if you hit them and get a lucky shot, it's instigative, pretty much. And for uh -huh. really, yeah, if they partial them with a nade, it could help. That could have been a partial nade and could have got the kill. Or like wall through a scope. But it really, it's useful for um, fulls. That's where you see the usage getting more. It's a little factor added into the game. Honestly, I feel like it's too pub friendly. Should be something disabled when there's tournament play, such as now. But, however, that's not something we have control of. Right now, why don't we lock into, um, where is he? Let's lock into Ink, as he has the bomb in that warehouse. It looks like they're going to try to rotate back towards two, along with Kerr. Inno is scoping. Looking towards the middle. As no Skelly will get taken out by Don't Rage with that sack. And they still decide to rotate towards bombsite 2. Ink is leading the charge with the bomb. Don't know if I agree with that. Where he pulls a scope shot. Not that much out of it though. Because he's lit. The uh, Everstrive team is going to rotate back. Inno does kill one of the rotators. Looks like they gotta sit in that green room, wait to work a pick or two. Both teams looking to do that. Some nades going to throw in. We do a, quite a few set nades from that area. Ink is gonna pull up. No, Kara will take out Don't Rage, and it will take out Chun-Li, completely changing the tide of the battle. Muddy is alone in that bomb site with low HP. He's about to get completely raped as he just gets demolished by Aang through the wall. All right, we moved to five to four right now. Ninth round, uh, and uh, still just that one round deficit. So here we are into the tenth round here on Erev TV. If you guys are just joining us, this is the AVA 10K tournament here. This is the bronze medal round, if you will. Better bronze than gone. As uh, we'll take a look here at bomb, still all the way in spawn. Actually, as uh, looks like the defense is going to push up. I believe into uh, green room is what you call that. There, CL3 is going to get a kill. Went struck with a kill of his own. There, both nades. And uh, that's going to move into a 5v3 situation right now, or 5v2 situation, sorry. As uh, right now, Everstride's going to have a huge advantage. 5v1 now, could be another Team Ace. Yes, sir, there it is. Team Ace again uh, for Everstride. And when, they, when they've when they won, they've won big in the, on those rounds there. So uh, I'm not sure if the push strat's uh, what's doing it or not, but uh, definitely a good round from them. Yeah, just a clarification for you, Eric. It's Everstride with a V, just future reference. Ever stride. Anyway, it looks like we got uh, Hoss and Dono train rush into one. Chun Li is about to run away. She is very, very scared as she just gets demolished by Kara with a headshot AK. CL3 is trying to get into the site along with Don't Rage, but he's going to get a kill. I don't know how he was able to pull off that kill. Skelly is right. Oh, yeah, everyone is rifling because they did do a train rush. I forgot to mention that. As Windstruck is the last one left with the scope. I don't know. He was just staring there as Skelly was trying to put some shots into him. So Windstruck, let's lock into Windstruck as he is in a rough 2v1 situation. Bomb is going down right now. Ink is, he's trying to get a shot onto the feeling he was planning, and he was. I hear the retard EU player screaming, it's an enemy grenade. He knows that Anon is now in the middle area. That is something that really should be removed from this game, but however, again, nothing we can do about it. 
Wind Shock is going to play pre scope into Anon, but no, Anon will finish him up with that HK kill. Game point is given to Paulson. Surprising how they are doing better on the maps they didn't choose. Oh, uh, that seems to be the case today, actually, as uh, teams have won on their map, but have continually played very well on the other team's map. Uh, and that's to be expect expected as teams uh, over-prepare uh, and, and that sort of thing, trying to win and just having confidence on their own map. And uh, I apologize for any clarification issues or anything like that. Again, I haven't played this game competitively, but I've been shoutcasting for, for quite some time. So I apologize for any of that, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the show here. As uh, I'll take a look here. Find the bomb here. That is going to be, uh, looks like Ink there with the bomb, and they're going to be a firefight here by the warehouse. Muddy and Ink going at it. Muddy is uh, going to get uh, get a bullet through the forehead there from Ink as uh, he's going to retreat there as he's been outplayed uh, towards that warehouse side. They're going to have to pick a bomb site here, meet up. He has his teammate Skelly up with him. CL3 is going to push from flank uh, nearly into their spawn here as uh, Don't Rage is going to move to two, Windstruck to one. So right now Ink is going to be moving towards CL3. Uh, let's see if we can find him for you guys. Bobcat, let's zoom in on him and see if uh, we're going to see any sort of corner shot here for him as he has a pretty good spot here as uh, he's going to be watching this uh, corner slash doorway here. As uh, C4 is still in spawn right now, they haven't made any move yet. I think he's waiting for a push from flank or something like that, which may not be a bad idea, but it looks like CL3 is going to have the patience here. As uh, he's going to make some noise right now, and I'm sure that uh, the bomb carrier heard that. As uh, they have seen each other, CL3 is going to peek this corner. It looks like C4 is going to go through bottom mid right now. As uh, that will be ink, and he's going to fire here on Don't Rage. Gets the kill on Don't Rage, and this has gone from a 2v2 uh, to a 2v3. Uh, or 2v3, I'm sorry, to a 2v2. So CL3 and Windstruck uh, going against Ink and Skelly here. CL3 still watching that flank, and there's another lucky shot. Speak of the devil, as uh, that now makes much more sense to me. I understand the the randomness of it, as uh, that's a little bit uh, better for me to understand there. As Windstruck, uh, CL3 going up against uh, Ink here. So Ink is going to be playing uh, again in that mid. He does have the bomb. Uh, so plenty of time to work with here. About a minute left on the clock, but he is totally surrounded. Or at least both his exit points are, are, are uh, going to be easily scoped or uh, picked up upon by CL3 here. So he's going to move to this one site. Has some room to play with here. Windstruck has definitely heard him as he's moving on the flank right now. As uh, He's going to close the warehouse door there, uh, move up to this one bomb site. Probably has enough time to plant here, and he will do so. Uh, CL3 moving feverently here uh, to try and catch up here as Windstruck and CL3 are going to move together right now. Uh, Ink going to be playing on the stairs here at one and uh, looks like he's going to be peeking the corner. They're going to come up the other side of the stairs right now. They are up top with him. Uh, they have seen him. Ink's going to get one kill on Windstruck. 1v1 here. Uh, CL3 going to take down Ink, though. Nearly had the clutch there, but not so much there. As CL3, who was 18 and 8, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is going to get the defuse there. Yeah, Ben is a solid M4 shot. He is probably one of the better players on Everstar, but they're all very good right. Muddy right now, who is dragging along 4 and 8. It happens. You know, everyone is, I noticed for the most part, is inconsistent in this game. I mean, as long as someone else is topping every other time, I mean, it's usually not a big deal. It looks like they're going to train rush into one. Oh no, Muddy is going to be, oh, and that uh, kind of worked towards Muddy's advantage as because he died. The grenade he just ended up getting a double kill. As a 3v3 situation, this is the game point 6-6, six, six, very close tiebreaker right now. Ink is going to push up with the bomb. Chun-Li, I'm sure, hears this. He's going to play in that ninja corner, but now he's not ninja anymore because he's in Russian and it's an enemy grenade. A complete idiot. Nade will go towards his way. He's going to have to push out, but he does get the better end of those traded shots, taking no damage and slightly tagging Ink. Ben with a nice flank on the Anon. Chun-Li is going to have to push. Completely corner these two. This will work out in the end, but no, it will take out CL3. Clutch situated, and he will not have it all. Paulson does take a very close game. Could have went either way right there, ladies and gentlemen. Very close.